In this video, we'll take a look at sculpting and show you what can be done using just your keyboard and your mouse. We'll create a cute little dragon, which can be easily printed on your 3D printer. We start with the default sphere. Make sure you have the symmetry option turned on. You can see the other red dot marking where the symmetrical sculpting touch will take place. For transforming the sphere into a basic body shape, we will use the move brush. Go to the top menu and increase both the draw size and the Z intensity to about two thirds. Form a neck, a body and a head. The slight protrusion on the head will later become a nose. The shapes don't have to be perfectly accurate right now, we can fine-tune them later. Don't forget to hold the shift key and smooth the surface on your scalp from time to time. Now we will switch to the snake hook brush and sculpt the legs. Decrease the draw size to about one half. We start with the hind legs. First we make the thighs, then the calves and feet. Use the inflate brush to give the legs some bulk. Switch back to the snake hook brush and make a tail. Sometimes some small localized blemishes can appear out of nowhere. Turn off the symmetry, decrease the draw size and polish them out by holding the shift key. If you lose sight of your sculpt for whatever reason, click the frame icon to center the view again. We make the toes with the move brush with a smaller draw size. They don't have to be perfectly accurate, we will touch them up later. Make sure you polish the surface even in the harder to reach areas. Now make the front legs. Again start with the snake hook brush, then give the legs some bulk with the inflate brush and finally create the toes with the move brush. Now we turn our attention to the head. 
we form the chin with a move brush at a little less than half of the draw size. Then the nose. Keep the symmetry turned on even when doing single features. Just make sure both the red dots are very close to each other. Sometimes you might accidentally end up with a fourth shape, but that is easy to fix. Create the eye socket with the clay builder brush. If you hold the Alt key, the tool will do the opposite, removing the material instead of building it up. Hold the Shift key to polish the surface. Then make the brow ridges with a regular clay builder brush without holding the Alt key. Create the upper lip, starting from the center and going to the sides. This requires a steady hand when working with the mouse. If the buildup is too pronounced, you can use the H polish brush to flatten the surface. It will look like as if it will send it away with a file. Create slightly bulged cheeks next to the corners of the mouth. Take your time to inspect the scalp from all sides and make little adjustments wherever you feel necessary using the move and clay buildup brushes. The chisel brushes offer a vast selection of ready-made shapes. We will use simple hemispheres to create the eyeballs. However, with the default maximum Z intensity, the eyes look far too bulging. So try to decrease the Z intensity to about 90%. But feel free to experiment a little bit. You can always undo the changes by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Now use the clay build-up brush with very little draw size and Z intensity to form the upper eyelids. Hold Shift to polish the surface as you go along. Continue with the lower eyelids. Take your time and try to avoid the eyeball itself. Hold the shift key to polish the surface.
you can use a large move brush anytime to further adjust the head shape and facial expression. And we will continue working on the facial features. A small edge polish brush can be used to define the nose horn and give it a bit more angular shape. Create the nostril outlines using small clay build up strokes. Hold the shift key to polish the surface. Use a small move brush to make the canine teeth. Be very careful, they must adhere to the lower lip, otherwise, they would form a nasty overhang, something that is impossible to print without supports. And if you want, create some teeth on the lower jaw as well.
With a slash 3 brush, you can create slits and creases or give more definition to the existing ones, such as the mouth line. Use almost a minimum draw size. You can also create some extra teeth in the process. As always, polish the surface by holding the shift key. If you want, you can retouch the mouth line by combining the slash brush with a small clay buildup brush. Now hollow out the nostrils with a small clay builder brush, reversing its effect by holding the ALT key, the same way we made the eye sockets. If you want, you can make the nostril outlines more pronounced. Make the eye pupils the same way as the nostrils. Now we will make the belly outlines using the slash 3 brush. Try to keep your hands steady and take your time. It is quite difficult to draw such long lines straight using just a mouse. You can adjust the outline position with the move brush. Then continue with the horizontal wrinkles. During your work, you might encounter a pop-up window informing you that the mesh is too dense for this free version of ZBrush Core. Simply don't worry about that, just confirm it by choosing the reduce option and then wait about half a minute. Then resume your work, you probably won't even notice any difference.
hold the Shift key and blend the wrinkles into the surface. Again, you can use the move brush to adjust the outline in some places. Now, let's make the wings using the move brush. Once you have the basic stumps, create the wings with the clay build-up brush. As always, with this type of brush, to have more control, use rather a small draw size and low Z intensity and add multiple layers. Pull the wings up into a desired shape using a move brush. Here you can see another case of some minor glitches on the surface. Delete them with a small brush while holding the shift key. Add a middle bone to the wing using the clay builder brush, again with careful strokes using a very small draw size and Z intensity. Now we will use the clay builder brush to add more volume to the belly segments, so they are not just flat areas divided by creases. We want to give them a more pronounced look, like they are actual plates that are overlapping each other. This might seem as a bit tedious process, and also a bit difficult to do with a mouse, but this is exactly the kind of detail that adds so much to the overall impression.
Using a snake hook brush, we will make some spikes on the little dragon's back. Watch out for unprintable overhangs and also for minimal printable size. Don't make the spikes too long or thin and make them point rather upwards, then straight backward at a right angle to the spine. Continue with smaller spikes on the neck and the back of the head. The standard pop-up plus T-brush can be used to give the spikes a neat rounded outline. Adding spikes further down the spine can be tricky, as the wings might get in the way. Feel free to skip them if they seem like too much trouble. And in the final step, we will decorate the skin, adding some ornaments, scales or other details. There are multiple methods to do it. Now it's time to turn off the symmetry in the top menu. You might use the slash 3 brush, holding the Alt key to reverse its effect to create raised lines. Another option is adding little squares using the clay builder brush. You can also use the hemisphere option from the chisel shapes brush. That's what we used earlier to create the eyeballs and we'll use it now to create little rounded scales. And feel free to experiment. You can mix more methods or you can leave the skin completely plain if you like it better that way. And once you consider the little dragon done, click the export for 3D printing button in the top menu. And this concludes our video. We hope you enjoyed it and happy printing!